take a little bit of skill to get it all aligned, but once you get it all together, really, really satisfying. Hello, this is BJ from Hearns Hobbies, and I'm gonna be looking at this Tamiya 112 scale bike kit. This is the Panigale S, the 1199. So with this particular bike, uh, it actually first got uh, uh, released to the public in 2011. And at the time, it was the most powerful two-cylinder motorcycle on the market. So what are some of the specs? It's pretty impressive, really. So it can go zero to 60 mile an hour, which is like 97 kilometers an hour in um, just under three seconds. It's got a top speed of 285 kilometers an hour. Um, and it just looks really cool. So this particular bike, um, different versions have been uh, made for the superbike um, racing, but we're really interested in the kit itself at the moment. And being a Tamiya kit, and 12 scale bike, they make the best 12 scale bike models. And I'll show you in just a sec. So let's just take off the top. Okay, now I haven't built a 12 scale model in a while, a bike model that is. But the great thing about 12 scale bikes is it's got a really good scale so that they add in a lot of bits and pieces. So there's springs, screws, so the cowling engine, they've got uh, plumbing as well. So it's almost like you're building an actual motorbike. So it's really immersive. So this is one of the parts that will show you how immersive they are. Okay, this is just a little bag with all the really fine bits. So you've got the tires, so it's got the rubber tires. You've got the spring for the shock absorber. You've got um, over here, you've got all the fine screws. So there's a long screw that will be um, attaching the rear wheel to the, um, uh, the framework. And then you've got all the fine screws for screwing the, uh, the cowling on as well. And then you've got some uh, rubber um, uh, poly caps in there as well for rotating parts. And cap that off, they give you one of those little tiny screwdrivers. And that's the same screwdriver they've been using in these kits for decades. Really handy. Okay, so that's the, the little nitty gritty bits. Okay, and so here we've got a big sprue with all the body components on it. Okay, so molded in white again, so white is one of the the great colors for painting, particularly with this particular bike, because one of the versions uh, is a very bright red, and uh, red on white, it just really, really um, pops. Okay, let's hold it up like this. All right, so you got to get cowling halves here, and you'll see the holes here. These are where the screws are gonna be holding the whole um, cowling onto the frame once it's complete. You got the uh, tank halves. Uh, you've got the, uh, a cover here. Uh, for, I think that's for the rear. Can't really see what I'm doing here. Oh, okay, that's an air intake for the front end. Uh, you've got the side cowling parts. You'll see how fine it is. And then you've got the, um, the stand as well. So it's got a racing type stand. Got components here as well. So that once it's all complete, you'll be able to slip that into the rear end and the whole bike will stand by itself. You've got a lot of the plumbing. Okay, as you can see. And these are parts that really add to the build, just to the enjoyment and also to the overall look. So you can actually have one side of the cowling off, or all the cowling off if you like, just so you can see all the bits inside, because that would cover up quite a lot of the detail. And then over here, we've got uh, a little bit more um, of the framework. Okay, so that's the main bodywork there. Okay, I'll show you this in a sec. This is actually the, um, the main front cowl. It's actually been taped onto the box for protection, but we'll have a close look at that in a sec. Really nice mold there. Really complicated multi-piece mold. All right, here, we've got um, clear parts. Okay, so you've got the, uh, the windscreen. Looks very much like an aircraft windscreen. Give you an idea of the aerodynamics of these things. You've got the headlight covers. Uh, actually, they're probably the tail covers. You've got the headlight covers here. And then you've got indicator, I think the indicator, I can't imagine what else I'll be. There could be the headlights, but we'll find out in the manual in a sec. So lots of nice clear parts. Okay, and traditionally for Tamiya, the engine parts are molded in silver. So you've got uh, the engine, you see the engine halves here. You just see how much detail there is in the, uh, in the casings. You've got the clutch arrangement. Um, lower part of the framework you've got the massive calipers uh, you, you see the chain here and this is something that Tamiya have done for many many years 
the chain is very well molded with the sprockets on in one piece and then they have the cutout here which just pokes through the, uh, the framework and that's actually hidden by the framework like this it's all very clever you got disc brakes here so there's a rear disc uh, you got a caliper uh, over here you've got the probably radiator boxes more of the framework on the bottom there you got the huge front discs you notice that uh, it's got the ventilated holes there they're not actually molded all the way through but if you like you could quite easily drill them all the way through or easier still you just put a black wash in them and they would be highly um, um, highlighted over here you've got the chain guard uh, you've got some foot rests here you've got the um, uh, the dashboard uh, you've got the radios on the front and then quite a lot of plumbing as you can see so there's some calipers that'll be the front calipers I think oh what was I looking at here no I'm, I'm mistaken those because they look like car calipers they're actually parts of the uh, the heads of the engine okay so pop that over here and then we've got this part here and this is framework which is molded in black okay so you've got your wheels you see the reinforcing points in there they'll be cut off they just add strength in the molding process you've got the main framework you've got the swing arm main frame here where the uh, tank will be sitting on you've got the seat uh, front end for the cowling uh, as we move along, got various bits and pieces. You've got the handlebars here. Uh, rear part of the uh, the frame. And then all the finer details, which would be probably carbon fiber um, parts that are on the frame as well. And then you've got the uh, uh, registration plate right there. Okay, so that's um, pretty much all the plastic bits. I'm going to just empty this out first. I'm going to pick up this box and show you this cowling so there's a cowling here let's just do this so this shows a master martyrs can't say that properly the mastery of Tamiya mold making now they've always been uh, the leaders in making molds and you can see just from this part you see how complicated it is I mean that'll be multi-piece mold usually a mold is just two halves and they just meet like this but this will have multiple parts that will come out so that this could be all in one piece if I'm making it all in one piece it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot finer and that is quite amazing so again you'll see the little holes here where it's, it'll be screwed together onto the framework okay so let's see uh, the front cowl all right what do we have here so we've got this little bag here with the decals and such so you've got some um, metal uh, self-adhesive transfers there for the mirrors revision mirrors over here you've got a fairly comprehensive decal sheet a bit hard to see at the moment because it's uh it's muted by the uh protective tissue but you've got all these little fine um decals there for around the wheels and then you have your dashboard cover the registration plate and then you have all the um uh, the name decals that go on the tank and the cowling and the fairings very nice okay so that's that and then we get into the paperwork so here we've got the tech tips and then we've got a background information sheet oh nothing on there okay so it's got a little bit of the history all in various um, languages and then we get into the manual so typical to me manual uh, you've got the paint chart here all in Tamiya codes various tools that it recommends so side cutters and knife and, and glues okay so over here you, you start off by building the engine so very much like building the actual real bike and then you see here the color recommendations sometimes here you would need to mix to get the right color tone and then all the uh, the plumbing going onto the engine starting to build up uh, uh, the frame and engine will fit inside there okay so you got the tube here for the main for the fork for the front uh, you got your radiators going on the front radiator tubes uh, the swing arm and you've got the chain so you can see how the split chain there allows it to go into the uh, 
the swing arm there. All little bits and pieces that are attaching here and then finally going into the frame. Over here we're doing the, uh, uh, the rear suspension. So you see the spring here being used for the shock. The real spring actually adds quite a lot to overall appearance. Okay, so here's the, uh, the rest of the swing arm and the shock going on. Uh, final bits and pieces. So here you've actually got um, vinyl lines which are cut to length and they're poked into various parts for the, the rest of the plumbing. Really fine details, really add quite a lot. And then get into the front forks. Notice the long screws and hold it all together because the fork will be able to move as well. Okay, and then over here. All right, let's start working on the wheels and the tires. So rubber tires, just uh, hook straight onto the wheels. You notice that there's a rib inside that holds the tire on. That gets all screwed in. And then you've got the, that's the, uh, the actual bike frame holder. So you can see there's been pressed in so it can stand upright. You've got the, uh, the front mud flap that's going on with the wheel going on. So most of it's been assembled now with the framework. Uh, you've got um, uh, the calipers. So you see the end part there, that's where um, some vinyl tube will go out later. Okay, you've got handlebars going on. And then here's the, uh, the vinyl tubes getting connected up to uh, the calipers. And then other parts here. And now we're almost to the end. Okay, so here we're concentrating on fairing parts. Okay, so fairing parts, you've got um, the rear framework for the seat. And the rear lights, of course. Uh, you got the uh, uh, front end. Actually, that's the rear end, is it? That's the rear end. Okay, so it goes around the, the rear frame. You've got the, the rear lights getting assembled and the, and the tank. And the tank's getting mounted. And then you've got the front cowling, which I showed you before, with a clear uh, windscreen going on. The base side fairings. And then that's all getting fitted on. So all the screws, putting the, the fairings on, the cowling on, the seat backrest. And then all that's the rest of the screws. And then finally you finish off with the mirrors. So the mirrors are glued in place on the main fairing. And then here's that uh, section that was uh, assembled earlier was the uh, registration plate. And that completes the build of the Ducati uh, 1199 Panigale. So beautiful kits. So not just this particular um, motorcycle kit, but any of the Tamiya 112 scale kits. Even in some of the other brands, although other brands don't have a lot to choose from, uh, there's Hasgawa, um, and I think Fujimi do some 12 scale uh, motorbike kits too, but they're well worth building. Uh, even if you're not into motorcycles, they're a really nice build. They go together very well. Uh, take a little bit of skill to get it all aligned, but once you get it all together, really, really satisfying. So there you go.